Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Peter here. So today we are looking at the house of By Killian, and this one is called Sacred Wood. Wow. That is all I need to say for this fragrance. It is beautiful. It's so, so, so amazing. I can't even begin to describe in words how lovely and beautifully elegant this fragrance is. It is simple, but there is so much beauty in the simplicity of this fragrance. It's full of character, even in, in, even in all its simplicity. It's so rich and refined and elegant and classy and understated. I'm completely in love, to be honest. I am 100%, without a doubt, going to be buying a bottle of this. It is amazing. Oh, so, what does this smell like? It's meant to replicate the smell of sandalwood from Mysore in India. And it's just the most richest, purest, softest, most elegant smelling sandalwood note you've ever smelled in your life. With a little bit of cedar, there's a steamed milk cord, and kind of what that does is just add a slightly creaminess but more of a, a general softness to the fragrance. There's warmth to this as well from little spices, there's cumin and elm and you don't really smell cumin. What that does is it just adds a little bit of warmth and extra depth and character to the fragrance, it just enhances the wood. It really really is beautiful. The performance is also amazing. In terms of longevity, I've worn this a few times now, I'm hitting consistently between 10 and 12 hours amazing longevity on this fragrance. The performance in terms of projection is also amazing and quite deceptive as well. You'll be forgiven for thinking this isn't pushing out but it really really is. I, I, I wasn't sure how much it was projecting until I was walking among people and they were picking me up from six feet away. It performs very very well. I'm getting sort of about four hours of a projection on this fragrance with up to six hours of a sillage. This just hangs in the air. Honestly, if you walk through a room at the six hour mark, it will leave a trail and it will hang. If anyone walks through that trail within 20 minutes of you walking there, they will smell you. It just seems to sit in the air and it's just amazingly beautiful. Oh, it's so, so good. I don't know why no one talks about this. You know, type this name into YouTube right now you'll see one, two videos on this Max and they're from years ago from when it was first released and you know they're not in depth, they're not even particularly interested in the fragrance. This does not get any mention whatsoever really and that is just such a shame. You all rave about Oud Wood by Tom Ford. <sighs> What's wrong with you guys, you know? This is way, way above and beyond what Oud Wood delivers in terms of its scent, in terms of its performance. This is so refined and eloquently beautiful. It's just so rich. I mean, I mean, you could argue that you don't like this fragrance because it's so simple. There's so much character and beauty in the simplicity of this fragrance that it's just it's incredible. I'm just completely in love. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You could wear this in a suit, in a tuxedo, dressed up, dressed down, in jeans and a shirt, whatever, it doesn't matter. This fragrance just provides anything you want from it, it will deliver. It's incredible. The performance is incredible. The scent itself is incredible. There's no way that I'm not owning a bottle of this. If I ever do a most enjoyed video again, I expect this to be number one. Um, wow. Again, what is wrong with you fragrance community? Check it out, you're missing out. You really, really are missing out. It's incredible. That's it, I'm in love, I'm buying a bottle. See you guys in the next video, bye.